I wanted to ask you, Fred, or Regina, either one, there was some discussion at the Board of Selectmen about uh, adjusting the, uh, the salary for the Selectmen. Uh, can, can you enlighten me as to where that is? It's not adjusted. Yeah. I know it's not adjusted, but I can see that it's not adjusted. But uh, is there consideration being made, or has it just been tabled, or...? There was no motion to change that. There right. was a discussion that a number of years ago it was decreased. But the selectmen did not make a motion to increase it or to change it in any way. Mm -hmm. So they left it flat. I find, you know, I, I was I was aware of they were being paid thirty five hundred about twenty years ago, and they took a cut because of partly because the unions were not getting any increases, and what a selectman was showing a some a symbolic gesture of. Uh, Solidarity with them, so they went from thirty-five hundred to three thousand, where it has remained uh, through all of these couple decades now. And uh, I am concerned because I see last year we had uh, an election with no competition for the board of selectmen. They do they do a lot of work. Uh, whether you like their work or not is not the issue. The personalities at play are not the issue in my mind. What's at my mind is we expect them to do a certain amount of work. We voters, we citizens, expect them to do a certain amount of work. And that $3,000 that we're paying them, in my opinion, does not reflect the expectation we have of them for the amount of work they do. I mean, they, they, uh, there's one former selectman who complains that they don't meet every week. They meet almost every week. <laughs> And, and at the rate of that, if you just divide that up by three thousand dollars, they're making pennies. And the fact that we're not getting, in my opinion, again, uh, sufficient number of people uh, stepping forward and joining government uh, really puts our entire town government as a town government at serious risk. Uh, we don't have competition for the budget committee. We don't have competition for the planning board. We don't have competition at elections for the board of selectmen. We don't have a competition of ideas. And when you don't have a competition of ideas, what you end up is basically having less than optimum ideas. Basically bad ideas too often. So I'm very concerned. I think maybe we ought to consider raising the Board of Selectmen's pay. And speaking more broadly, I think we need to be considering raising the pay of other elected officials as well. Since we already have in this budget pay raises for elected officials, uh, I would say that <clears throat> it makes sense to me that the elected officials who have been ignored for years, uh, not getting increments or anything at all, ought to be given consideration this year, along with those who were already given consideration. We shouldn't be you know, taking just this one and that one and, and ignoring everybody else. One so I would, I would uh, request that... Uh, uh, we asked the finance director to provide an analysis of uh, total costs associated. I'm just throwing these numbers out so we have something to work with in our final review. But my intent is to consider giving giving a pay increments. Uh, and, and I would say if the finance director could provide us with a cost analysis of increasing the, uh, or paying the Board of Selectmen a salary of $5,000 versus the 3000 currently. Uh, and also for all elected officials who presently are unpaid, they receive zero, that there ought to be an allocation of, uh, for a, an expense account slash stipend of $1,000 per official. So they will not be on the payroll. Um, and I also thank the moderator who has not received the pay raise in well over 20 years, even though, according to Jane, he doesn't necessarily want it. If he doesn't want it, he can give it to charity or simply not accept it if he doesn't. But he, right now he's being paid $1,000. Hasn't been increased for over 20 years. we got to bring that to $2,000. So if we can get that uh, analysis, cost analysis from Christy, Mr. Chairman, I would appreciate that. I think it would give us some more information uh, for our final review. Christy, is that something you can do? Yeah, just for clarification, so the Board of Selectmen would be handled the same way that they are now through payroll. So yes. the taxes that are involved with that. And then for other board members, you're looking for $1,000 per 
per seat, so to speak, even per, per person. Per yeah. person, and that would just be a stipend, not to the table. Well, it would be an expense. It would be an expense account, and if they don't exhaust the full thousand in a year, they they can optionally take the balance as a stipend. Okay. So it would not be a payroll. Yeah. Not a payroll. Not a payroll. So they would get a ten ninety nine. Yeah, if they were taking a stipend, yeah. Well, if they just to expand on that a little bit. Um, so you're saying expenses, for instance, would be like mileage yeah. type of thing, or I don't know, whatever you they, they, they may go up to an HMA meeting, you know, a training session or something like that. They, they, they pay would on get their paid own. For, kind of they thing. would get paid for mileage. And, and then, as well as the cost of the, the, the trip, essentially, yeah. Okay. There are a variety of things that we do. Driving around town looking at sites. and I mean, how many, Steve, you and I have personally gone up together and looked at sites investigating Warren articles. So. Uh, that's true. Kind of information. Okay, hold on. Go ahead, uh, Sonny. State reps get $100 a year. Plus expenses. Oh, they get free tolls. No, they get full expense account, unlimited. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I get it, I get it. Okay, Jenny's first. Is there a majority of this board right now that wants this? He didn't make a motion. He's asking for what was it? Just a cost analysis. analysis. So I'm just using these he's numbers not making as a baseline a to work with. Or maybe you are making a motion. No, just no. just as as before, we request information through the chair, and the chair simply passes it on to the appropriate personnel. <coughs> Do you understand, Christy? The basically what he's asking. Yes. Okay. Do you want to clarify all the board members you're referring to? Or you want planning board? Well, I'm hoping your analysis will committee? bring it to light. But basically, what readily comes to mind is the budget committee. We have six. Right, and uh, planning board has what seven, Fred? Maybe five. I'm not five. sure. Five. Zoning board. And zoning board has five. Five. Right. Uh, Conservation. Conservation is not elected. So you're looking for elected board members. Correct. Got it. There's your clarification yeah. right there. Okay. Do not do it for the school board, Tim. Because I'm not. This is just okay. for the town. Because you said you were moving it on. No, no, no. no and no. I'm going to say that the the school board has the school board. I'm let them to make their decision. Okay. And when we're dealing with SAU 90, if it, if the idea comes up, then the idea comes up. But I have no expectation. The, I idea, the idea has come up and has been presented to the school board every year, and we wanted the building. And in order to get that building, we cut down the Warren articles and the budget at zero percent. So that we could I get a bill. I have no intention of making. So I'm any just telling you that. So the we have we point. have we have we have charge of the town budget, the SAU 90 budget, and the village district budget. Right. I have no intention of making a similar request for information from the village district, nor from SAU 90. Okay. Okay. Yep. This is just for the town. Okay. Right. This is the town government's health that I'm concerned with. If we don't get more people actively involved, this town is going to, as a town government, will deteriorate into something. Much less desirable than a town government. Okay, thank you, Tim. Are you done? Yes, I hope so. yeah, David, go ahead. Quick question. Yes, hopefully. Quick. I thought the selectman salary was fifteen thousand dollars a year. Hell no. Oh, no, that's divided by five. Five, five that's people. Divided by five. They get yeah. three thousand yes. a year. I, okay. I had heard from people it was fifteen thousand per person. No, no, no. no. Far from. Of course, you have. Far from. <laughs> <it>. Far from. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's, it's okay. 